Hey friends, tonight we are checking into Disney's Old Key West Resort for a little staycation and I'm going to give you a grand tour. I'm going to show you my room and all of the resort amenities. Maybe we'll hang out by the pool and soak up the sun, grab a bite to eat at Olivia's Cafe and just have a beautiful Old Key West kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. Disney's Old Key West Resort is the original Disney Vacation Club Resort. In fact, when it first opened up, it was just called Disney Vacation Club Resort. And fun fact, you don't need to be a DVC member to actually stay here or at any DVC resort. And sometimes they're cheaper than staying at a value resort. People ask me all the time how I can afford to stay in some of the Disney resorts that I stay at, like the Grand Floridian or here at the Old Key West Resort. But honestly, I've always told people rent DVC points because it is such an untapped gem. And I really never like was able to give you guys enough information about it. So I partnered up with the World of DVC and the DVC rental store so that I can give you guys a little bit more information and direct you in the right areas because it really is amazing. I mean, whenever I used to come on vacation, I always stayed at like All Stars or Pop Century and I used to look at some of those resorts and I used to be like, there's no way I would ever be able to stay there. But you'd be shocked, like literally shocked on how cheap it is to actually stay at some of those resorts. And we'll get into that a little bit later on. Right now, I want to dive in, get checked in, find our room and get all situated. We're going to start off the day here at the main check-in area and I love Old Key West. I love all the colors and it just really gives you that Old Key West feeling. They have the general store here and they have Olivia's Cafe. I talked about that before. Such amazing fried chicken. We're going to get our room and like I said, we're just going to hang out around the whole entire resort. All right, we are all checked in. I got my room number, so I think we should head over to the room, unpack and get all nestled in. Then I'm gonna give you the room tour and then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you like the resort pool, the store, the restaurant, a little bit of everything. And like I said, just kind of take it all in, take in the whole entire resort and have just a nice resort day. Before we make our way back to the room, I just want to show you a little bit of the main area up here or the hospitality house. They have a DVC ferry that'll actually take you over to Disney Springs. This is actually really, really handy. And I just love the vibe that you get from here. They got the sand castle pool, which I'm hoping to check out a little bit later on there. The gurgling suitcase. It's like so beachy and beautiful. It's like a perfect little retreat. I'm going to be staying at a studio villa here tonight at Old Key West and like I said before I partnered up with the World of DVC and DVC rental store and they're actually sponsoring this room for me and I specifically asked for a studio because I really wanted to convey the overall value it is to actually rent DVC points. I checked to see what Pop Century was going for tonight and it's $191 and I've seen this exact room go for as low as $200 on the DVC rental store site so I'm going to give you the tour of the whole entire villa and then like I said head back over there and kind of just hang out <laughs> We are nestled back here in building 55 and I love the layouts at Old Key West. I love the white picket fence. I love the colors. It is so amazing. In fact, as we were driving back here, it said vacation houses and these are villas. They're not like regular hotel rooms. They're fully equipped. They've got full kitchens and so much more space and balconies and I can't wait to go in. I think we're actually right over here and I like the different colors too. It honestly feels like I'm walking into someone's apartment right now. Like, and I can't believe this is Disney and there's so many hidden Mickeys everywhere I've noticed. We've got little hidden Mickeys on the handrails and even on our room number, which is 5514. Look, little tiny Mickey right here. And this is it. This is our room. I like how it used to have a key. I uh, remember seeing the old keys for Grand Floridian and I wish I bought some of them, but now it's the magic band, the power of the magic band. Oop, much better. All right, I had to come in and get the room all set up for you guys first. Turn on all the lights, open up the blinds, drop the AC down to 60 degrees because we're in Florida. And now for the grand room tour, the grand room tour. Like I said, this is a studio villa. So this is the smallest the room can get. And holy moly, it's actually pretty big. You have two big beds right here. We got a little Mickey. Looks like Mickey's uh, chilling out on the beach right there. Some nice artwork, a nice little side table there. I like the phone. 
a very nice balcony over there. We got a nice little table and chair set up. Some more cool signs. Oh, I like how it has Magic Kingdom. See that? That's actually really cool. And look at the size of this bathroom over here. Like I said, this room is actually pretty huge when you look at it from this point. But yeah, look at this. Have a nice little kitchen area here. Got the fridge, the microwave. Of course, Mr. Coffee. I don't think we're fully stocked though. Nope, not fully stocked today. And no coffee meat. I mean, they've got the regular one, but you know, we need the French vanilla stuff. That's the good stuff. And then we got the bathroom right here. It's a very nice bathroom. A little tubby tub. I like the stand-up showers a little bit better, but I know a lot of the uh, resorts are still renovating. We've got some H2O products locked up tight, so you can't steal it. But you can't take home the bath soap. That, that can come home with you. I am very anti-locked up H2O products. Very anti-locked up H2O products. I like to take usually a good supply home with me so I can shower myself in the, the smell of Disney for the weeks coming after a resort stay. We've got the nice little TV with Disney On Demand. They also have a DVD player, which is kind of cool because I'm going to show you guys something once we go back out. They actually rent out DVDs and games. We've got some drawers. Look at that. Oh, look at this. I like the little uh, the knobs on here. And I also noticed you got plenty of space underneath the beds here. I don't know how big that space is, but it looks enough that you can probably put some suitcases under there or some extra sleeping spots. Anything. Anything that catches your fancy. Now, I do want to mention that I like the fact that this room still has carpet. I feel like a lot of the Disney Resort rooms are getting rid of all the carpet. Speaking of the carpet, I want to point out that they actually have vacuums in here that you can use and uh, keep it tidy. At first, I kind of just walked past this little closet here and I should have peeked in. I should have just taken a peek see, but look at that. We've got tons. And this one's like a pet friendly one. Look at that. Actually, two vacuums. Well, I don't know if they're both vacuums or if there's something different. They also got some hangers in there, extra pillow. An iron, a safe, a lot of cool stuff. I don't know what this is though. What is this? I'm so confused. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments. Is it a part to the broom? Because they have a broom there? I don't know what I'm touching. I'm gonna put that back right there. <laughs> now I'm sure everybody is curious whether or not the Bissell is better than the Windsor. Well, don't you worry. I am gonna test out both of these vacuums for science. I said in the beginning of the video we were going to test out all the resort amenities and I meant it. First, the Bissell. Now the Windsor. Now them both. I think I have to give my vote to the Windsor. I mean, just by the looks alone, it looks like one of those vacuums that somebody's coming up to your door and selling it. Like, you know what I mean? Door-to-door -door sales. The Bissell kind of looks like you can just pick that up in Walmart. And the yellow cord, I mean, that's industrial. High tech, that's heavy duty. Might as well head outside and check out the little balcony area. And it's really cool because we're right next to a pool. Like, actually, I can stare at the hot tub if I wanted to. There we go. Ooh, and I like this furniture too. It's a nice little balcony area. Right here is one of the quiet pools. They got a little hot tub right there. Can't see much. And then this uh, water, uh, like river bend right here is uh, where they use the DVC uh, ferry boat. So it's really cool seeing that go back and forth. Now all these buildings are only two floors, I believe. So you either have the first or the second. You can put in request. I didn't actually put any in. I would have rather a second floor, but you could put that in as a request when you do it through the My Disney Experience app. And that's another thing with the uh, Disney Vacation Club. When you rent out the points, uh, you actually get the reservation number and you put it right inside your My Disney Experience app and you control the check-in and everything like that. So once you actually go through it all and you get the reservation, it's all you, it's all under you. I just noticed that these chairs 
have seashells on them. It was really hard for me to say seashells growing up because I always said seashells. So as you can see, I really have to, really have to emphasize on the seashells. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this room. I think it's a nice little quiet room. Old Key West is a quiet resort. Trust me, if you guys don't like, you know, a lot of hustle and bustle, this is the place to be. Here in French Quarter, I feel like are the two quietest resorts on property. Maybe Saratoga Springs too, but uh, this one is nice. It's very peaceful, very chill, very, very nice. I like the vibe. The vibe is good. I just pulled up the DVC rental store site and I wanted to just double check to see how much this room could go for. So I checked for next week and $207, $207. That is absolutely amazing. That's the same exact room we are in right now. Well, not the same exact room, but the same room layout. And I think that's just so cool. I'm going to put the links for the World of Disney and the DVC rental store in the description of this video so you guys can check it out. And if you want to book a room through them or even if you want to sell your own points, if you're a Disney Vacation Club member and you're looking to rent out your points or anything like that, they are the ones to go to. And they actually gave me a promo code, which I'll put in the description too. And as long as you use that from the 11th to the 18th, uh, they're going to give you $50 off a room. So that $207 Old Key West room would only be $157 a night so that's pretty cool so I'm gonna put the links in the description you guys are gonna have to check them out and we're gonna be working together a lot I'm gonna show you guys some really fancy rooms and some unbelievably amazing deals like that and I'm just excited to bring that to you I'm, I'm excited to give you guys the knowledge that you can do this okay enough with the room let's head back outside and maybe go get something to eat I also like the fact that my door is blue Another fun fact that I just noticed, our room is on Disney's Lake Buena Vista golf course, like on it. I feel super fancy and I don't even know why. I'm on a golf course. Like, look how pretty it is out here. But right over here is literally a golf course. Like they're teeing off right here. This is one of the holes. No Surrey bikes beyond this point right there because you're gonna see the golf carts actually come by. But isn't that so nifty? Look at this. That kind of blew my mind. That is so awesome. Oh, you can see some of the golf carts right now. Some, someone's coming right here our way. Fun fact, I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I have golfed this exact course. Now, I'm not very good at it. Not very good at it at all, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, maybe I should do that again. Maybe soon. Once my friend comes back over and visits, I think we're going to plan on doing it. Before we make our way back out to the front of the resort, I kind of want to see what this quiet pool is like over here. Got a little quiet pool. And I'm actually very shocked with the amount of pools Old Key West actually has. I just looked it up. It has four pools here at the resort. And then they have the big one. That's the one that actually has like a water slide. That's the Sandcastle pool. That one's my favorite. And I'm going to show that a little bit later on as we go back out front. There's some people in the pool, but this is the quiet pool right next to my room. And they have the laundry room here, vending machine, ice. They even have a little play area with some sand. I like this. The kiddos can come play here, or I could play here. I'm kind of very interested in that slide right here. I'm not too sure about the middle one, though. Looks like it might be tight right there, but this one, I think I can do that. Maybe later on, we might come down the slide a little bit. They also have a like little cookout area over here with picnic benches and little tiny grills look at this this is so fancy this is all right next to my room so I'm kind of really loving this I'm loving this whole entire area I couldn't wait till later I had to go for it now that's hot that's hot <laughs> It's been a long time since I went down a slide and I forgot that they get hot when they're sitting in the sun and that was hot. <laughs> now that we've made it back out to the front, let's go see about grabbing a bite to eat. Either the quick service or Olivia's Cafe, whatever we have availability at. Preferably, I would love to get something to eat at Olivia's, but I'm not too sure. I don't think it's open yet, actually. Olivia's is known for their special fried chicken, the Southern Moist Buttermilk Chicken. I get it every time I come here, and I have eaten here lots of times before. They have a homemade soup of the day. Of course, they have prime rib, bacon cheeseburger, but it doesn't open till 5 o'clock. Not till 5 p.m. 
So we're a little bit early. And then they also have a very amazing brunch on Saturdays and Sundays from 7.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. I haven't done the brunch yet, but maybe I will one day. Since Olivia's isn't open yet, I guess we'll head over to the Gurgling Suitcase and the Goods To Go, see what they have there. I don't think I've ever eaten anything from the quick service, so at least it'll be something new. Uh-oh, it actually looks like we're getting a little rainstorm here. I'm gonna head into the Gurgling Suitcase though. At least I know I can seek some shelter if it's not busy. Oh yeah, we got some room in there. Look at this, fancy. Well, it looks like we're in luck because they actually serve Olivia's food at the Gurgling Suitcase. How crazy is that? They even have the Southern Moist Buttermilk Chicken, the one that I wanted to get. This is so nifty and it's open like before the restaurant is open. Got myself a Key Lime Summer Ale, I think it is. A Key Lime Summer Ale, a Key West, Key West. It is really coming down, a perfect summer or a sun shower here in Florida. So I'm glad that we're in here, kind of just chilling, gonna get some din din, and then maybe the pool after the rain stops. I mean, you could go in the pool now. I mean, it's kind of the same thing. You're just getting wet. All right, here it is. And they got rid of the pineapple bread, and they have a new bread here. But look at this, it actually looks pretty good. It's still like a pull apart bread. I'm gonna see how easy it is to pull apart. Oh yeah, look, it's actually really easy to pull apart. Pull a couple of them. I decided to hop back outside because the rain stopped and like it's so beautiful out. I just kind of like lounging out here. They have tons of umbrellas and little seats. But I have to say this bread is phenomenal. Pineapple coconut bread and pull apart bread too. So good. And here it is, the Southern Moist Buttermilk Chicken. Look at the mashed potatoes, the biscuit, the chicken, the gravy, the green beans. Oh, this is so good. I've had this many of times and it's so hard not to get it when you come here because it is that good. It's that memorable. I didn't know you can't take the glass outside so I had to put everything in a little to-go box, but that's okay. I mean, it's okay. I don't mind eating out of the to-go box. I like it with a view. I literally just dumped my chicken and mashed potatoes, everything in a box. I put my roll on there, grabbed some silverware, put my beer in a cup, and I'm ready to go. I mean, it's actually looking better this way. <laughs> everything all mixed together, that's the way. And you want to get some of that gravy with this bread. Look at that. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, enough of the bread business though. Let's get into this chicken, which I am excited for. This is hands down, I think, some of the best chicken you can get on property. It's up there with Chef Art Smith's. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. That's just my opinion. But I love this. Oh, oh the gravy's so good. The breading's so good. I was like so excited when I was like, oh, I'm going to stay at Old Key West. I'm going to eat at Olivia's. <laughs> good Lord. It's amazing. <laughs> Serious. Oh, my. Look at this. Just look at it. I can't get enough. I'm not too sure what makes this chicken, the chicken that it is. I think it has to be the breading and the combination of the gravy. The biscuit isn't the best biscuit out there though, I have to say. It's kind of just dry, but I'm just here for the chicken and potatoes. I mean, that's, that's the main event. The biscuit, it's just a little add-on. But wait, I just thought of something. We're gonna break the biscuit, just like this, just like this. And we're gonna take the chicken, just like this, Put the biscuit back on top, and we got ourselves a chicken biscuit. Look at that, with the gravy, put a little mashed potatoes in here, hold on, that's what we gotta do. There we go. Put it right in there, that's the way. Well, enough of the chicken business, and I gotta say, that chicken is phenomenal. Like, <laughs> it is so good. Now I wanna keep walking around the resort, explore a little bit more, the rain is over, the humidity is at like 100%, and uh, there's much more to explore. I definitely wanna take a dip later, either in this pool over here, which is the sandcastle pool, or the little quiet pool by our room, either one. I didn't get any dessert while I was at the Gurgling Suitcase because I do want to get something that is very resort specific and that is the Key Lime Dole Whip. They have Key Lime Dole Whip here and I can't wait to try it. I've had Lime Dole Whip but I wonder if it's different when it's Key Lime. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I think it is. But yeah, we're going to get that a little bit later on and uh, yeah, just like I said, keep exploring around. 
the key lime dole whip is here at the goods food to go but i don't want that right now i want to wait a little bit and then over here they have the community hall remember i was talking about in the room uh they had a dvd player because in here you can rent dvds and you can do a lot of cool stuff in here but the community halls and all the different resorts are actually really fun we'll go and take a look see here I always point this out because I think it's so like so awesome. I mean, I grew up on DVDs. They even have a R restricted, like little one. Look at this Armageddon. They have all the Avengers, Arachnophobia. I always point out Arachnophobia. I don't know why. Usually, because when I open it up, it's like alphabetical, so it's like the first one there. But like, I wonder, Chasing Amy, Children of the Corn, Bad Santa. I think that's so funny, isn't it? Deadpool. It's it's kind of amazes me the. Uh, movies that they have and of course they've got you know all the Disney movies you know they have everything a goofy movie which did you guys see uh, power line is coming to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party and then they also have board game rentals here too let me try to show you these ones here look at this you can come down you can rent board games they have apples to apples battleship they have family uh, family feud Disney edition nightmare before Christmas clue and I bet you all the pictures, I mean, I bet you all the pieces are intact. We've got classic Monopoly, Yahtzee. The community hall is pretty cool. And then right next door, they have an exercise room. Gonna take a peek, see in there, see if they have any scented towels. By the way, this is all like in a row. So you got Electric Eel Arcade, which is, I think, the smallest arcade in all of Walt Disney World property. I'll show you that in a second. But then they have the community hall and then the exercise room. And this is where I want to see if they got any of those special scented towels. I'm a, I'm a sucker for scented towels. No scented towels in there, but it is a nice little gym to work out at. And uh, yeah, like I said, they have so much going on here. It's a lot bigger and a lot more things to do than at the other resorts. That's why I like Old Key West. It's really, it's really a massive resort. You can rent Siri bikes. They have Pong. They have Foosball. Uh, I think they have a bocce court over there too. I'm pretty sure. And this is the Sand Castle Pool over here. And I can't wait to show you guys this actually right now. This is so nice in here. I love it. It's one of my favorite pools actually. Especially the little play area over here. Let me take you a peek see right here. Oh no, it's locked. Oh, it's closed because of the inclement weather. But at least we get to show you it without a bunch of people being here. Look at it. They have gigantic sand castles over there. This is a really fun pool. Here are all the different sand castles. Normally I can't show you guys this because I don't like filming the pools when there's people there, so it's cool that I get to see it. Oh, there's actually sand inside the sand bucket there. Isn't that cool? And it just goes on and on. They got a nice little playground over here. They've got some hammocks. I'm not even gonna attempt the hammock today. You guys know I have an ongoing battle with hammocks. Right here you got three of them lined up, but we're not gonna do it. They also have Disney's Old Key West Resort Family Tree. Well, would you look at that? It's the family tree right there. I mean, this is a nice resort, like I said. Very beachy, very, very chill vibes. I think the rain kind of turned everything off over here. But I mean, the lightning is in the area. It wasn't the rain, but there's lightning in the area. So I think we might go back to the room. I did bring my swim shoot, my swim shoot with me. <laughs> I brought my swim shoot with me. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll take a dip in the pool. Figured I'd give you guys a look at the resort as we shuttle back to our room. Isn't it so peaceful? I love being all the way back like we are. We're really away from, this is all the hospitality area. And uh, we're way back here, way back here in the boonies. Now that we've made it back to the room, I think I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna hop over, I'm gonna get, grab the GoPro, I'm gonna go into my bathing suit, and I think we're gonna go hang out by the main pool. The water slide at the Sandcastle Pool is a gigantic hidden Mickey. Like the, end, like the exit of the water slide is a gigantic hidden Mickey. And also I think they're doing s'mores over there. Uh, so we might get some s'mores. If not, we have the Key Lime Dole Whip that we gotta try. And I've seen the Key Lime Dole Whip, it's like, lime but with vanilla and then graham cracker crumbs on it so like that sounds amazing since we're headed to the pool i wanted to switch over and show you guys the little fit check i got the jaws roosevelt tux look at this i love it jaws in the pool 
Looks like they're starting to turn the lights on, so we don't have much daylight, but at least it's a lot cooler, and I won't get sunburned. I do smell the fire, so I think we're gonna head over to the fire pit first, take a look-see, and then into the pool, into the sandcastle pool, and down the hidden Mickey slide. Doesn't that sound so fun? I'm pretty sure that the marshmallows are free at the fire pits. You can just toast some marshmallows, but they do sell s'mores kits, and I think they have a special 50th anniversary one. So we're gonna see what flavors they are, because I have had some hit and misses with them. I mean, some of them have been fantastic, like the one at Riviera. Oh, that was so good. Or even the one that they sell at uh, Grand Floridian. It's like a special like chocolate and a special flavored marshmallow, but we'll see. We'll see what the offerings are. Anyways, I just like hanging out by the fire. Oh, I see the fire. There's the fire. Oh, and they got some cornhole. Some special uh, old Key West. I ran into my little friend Veronica here, and you got a s'mores. That's where I'm heading. How are the s'mores? Are they good? They're good. Yeah? Well, I'm excited. Which one did you get? No chocolate on that? Just the marshmallow? Nope. That's the way. Chocolate. That's dad's. Ah. Oh, I'm going to get one right now. I'm excited. Are they good? Yeah. So, there's also... Here's... To, to all the other beautiful people that are watching this, there, there are s'more kits that, that you can buy, which are like $5 for each little s'more kit. And you can just take, take them back to the hotel and then cook them yourself. Well, there you go. That was cute. She wanted to be in the video and she wanted to talk about her s'mores. So I thought that was awesome. I was just informed that it is National S'mores Day and everybody gets a free s'mores kit. Before I was talking about, usually you have to pay for them. But because it's National S'mores Day, it's on the house. And look at this, you got all different flavors. Oh, is that, uh, what you call it, cookies and cream? cream? Yes. I want a cookies and cream. The grasshopper. Oh, but they have grasshopper? Yep. And then we also have the um, Oreo, the s'more Oh, my Lord. And then Lord. the General S'mores Kit, of course. Oh, Lord. Oh my lord, I don't even know what to do. This is overwhelming. I'm gonna have to go cookies and cream. Cookies and cream? Cookies and cream. Look at that. Thank you. Oh my lord. Wow, talk about my lucky day. You get uh, six marshmallows, you get some cookies and cream and graham crackers. National S'mores Day. I think I'm gonna put two marshmallows on. No more than two though. So I'm gonna give you some room up top there. All right, here we go. I like mine with a little char on it. I like my marshmallows like I like my steaks. A little bit charred. Go ahead and blow it out. <sighs> One more time. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's how I like them though. I like them like that. <laughs> the skill at making a s'more while holding a camera is going to be pretty impressive right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down like this. Ooh. Nope, that's not gonna work. Wait, wait, maybe it will, maybe it will. Pull out, there we go. Here we go, National S'mores Day, cookies and cream. Amazing. I really appreciate how the graham crackers are nice and soft. Oh man, this was so good. It almost like fell apart, look at it. That was just after one bite. Okay, that was really awesome. I mean, if you say free s'mores, I'm all in. Now, let's go head to the pool. Time to go down the water slide. I'm excited. I didn't wait 30 minutes, but it's only one s'more, so I don't think I'll get a cramp. But if you do eat food, please wait 30 minutes. Okay, now we should be able to head in. Before, they had them locked because of the lightning, but... Yes, the doors are open. Right there is the big water slide. We could play in the sand, but honestly, I don't like sand in my shoes. I don't know anyone that really does like sand in their shoes. Sand in their shoes. <laughs> I'm gonna find a nice little spot to put my camera down and switch over to the GoPro. You might hear a little bit uh, difference in the audio because that's what GoPros are like. But first I'm gonna show you the hidden Mickey on the water slide because that's the coolest thing. Look at that, isn't that so cool? And we're about to go ride it. We're about to go down the water slide. All right, we're all switched over. I had to take the hat off. I know I'm bald and uh, I'm so excited for this water slide. Here are some slide rules. Only one rider to enter the slide at a time. Wait until dispatch signal turns green to enter the slide. Slide feet first only, either sitting or lying on back. And we're gonna go head on in here. We're heading into a big sand castle. Look, oh, look at that. It's kinda cool. 
I get excited over the littlest things. Oh. oh my lord. This is going pretty high up here. I didn't expect this to be this high actually. Look at the view once you get up here. You see a little bit of everything. This is a good way to kind of see how big this resort actually is. I love it. There's also a gigantic pirate flag at the top. That's perfect. All right, we got the green light. Ready to go. I'm so scared. I don't even know why I'm so scared. I'm just so scared. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Sit down very nice. Just like this. There we go. Oh my Lord. Here we go. Holy moly, this is bad. That might have been one of the best Disney Resort water slides. I want to go again. I'm going again, but this time I'll have it facing me. But it was so fun, and I almost felt like I felt like I was gonna fly out. All right, here we go. Oh, it's so fun! Honestly, I'm in love with that water slide. It is so much fun, but I want to show you around to the rest of the pool, but holy moly. <laughs> I'm really not too sure what's going on with these dolphins over here. Like this isn't a public swimming area, but it looks fun. It looks like they're having the best time ever. And they got a little ball there. That is really, really nifty. And then over here, they had this lighthouse and it actually said sauna on it, but I don't think it's a sauna. I don't think it's a real sauna. I mean. If it was, that'd be pretty cool. Oh wait, maybe it really is. It really is a sauna. Holy moly. I can't even believe there's a sauna here. I'm gonna take a look on the inside. I don't know if anybody's in there. I mean, you'd have to be pretty crazy to be in the sauna right now, but I think you turn it on. Let's see. I don't know how it works. How does the sauna work? Let us in, let us in. Wait, maybe it just opens. Oh yeah, oh my Lord. I feel it. Oh, I kind of like it. Honestly, I don't know if uh, my camera is good inside the sauna here, but who's hanging out in a sauna in Florida? What's going on here? I was in this sauna for two seconds and I got to get out of here. Like, <laughs> this is too hot for me. Holy moly. Whew. Enough of the sauna business. I say let's go get a dough whip. Get a key lime dough whip. I'm gonna come back to the pool later on, but wow, I love it here. I really love Old Key West. It really gives you like some like I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It gives you really cool vibes. <laughs> here is the key lime swirl, dough whip lime and vanilla swirl, topped with graham cracker crumbs for $4.99. Look at that. It looks amazing, doesn't it? They also have very good-looking banana bread and a soup of the day. Olivia's onion. A soup of the day. You really can't wait long when it comes to Dole Whip because it melts super fast. So I just found the next spot with good lighting and here it is. It's Dole Whip time. It's key lime Dole Whip time. Look at that. And you can see the graham cracker crumbs on there a little bit, but not too much. So I'm going to set it down here on uh, Epcot's table, <laughs> the trash can. I don't know how I'm going to scoop this like this. I guess I'm going to scoop it like that. But I didn't get much lime there. I gotta get more lime. There we go. That's the way. Here we go. I am so excited to try this. Oh, that's good. Oh, the graham cracker crumbs add a really nice texture to it. That is so good. But honestly, look, it is not lasting long at all. It's melting pretty fast. So you gotta eat it quick. I feel like today really sums up a perfect Old Key West kind of day. You know, we hung out at our room, we came over, we got a drink at the Gurgling Suitcase, got some chicken from Olivia's, got some s'mores for National S'mores Day, went down the Sandcastle Pool water slide, and now finishing up with the Key Lime Dole Whip. Seriously, it's, a, it's an Old Key West kind of day. The lights are really starting to get brighter, the sun is starting to get real low, Man, I had a great time today. I had a, I had a great time today. 
And with that, I think we are done here today. Like I said, I feel like I had the perfect Old Key West kind of day. I had so much fun just hanging out at the resort today, showing you guys all of the amazing amenities, everything from the fire pit to the vacuum cleaners. It was just a fun day and I love getting to come out and hang out with you guys. When I say that, like I feel like I am hanging out with somebody. Like sometimes it can get like a little lonely when you're out and about on your own, but when I have the camera, it honestly feels like I'm hanging out with you guys and kind of just, showing you around because that's what I'd like to do if you were my friends and you were here I would probably be doing the same thing like if you ask any of my friends I literally just point out things constantly to them and I hope I'm never annoying you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways I had a lot of fun thank you to the world of DVC like I said they are sponsored this video and uh, they sponsored the room we're gonna be working together a lot I really want to show you guys some really cool rooms with them and I really like believe in what they do you know what I mean they're a great company we've got to know each other and whenever I do like these partnerships with these companies or anything like that it's it's because I really believe in it you know what I mean I honestly believe people that watch this video can benefit from renting DVC points they just need to be told about it you know what I mean it, either if you want to like do a one night stay at like the Grand Floridian uh, it's gonna be the cheapest way to do it is actually through DVC like renting points do it do the DVC uh, store and I have the link in the description so you guys can go check out all of them because that's gonna be the cheapest way the world of Disney is like your one-stop everything DVC everything from the resale marketing to the financial end of it either you're buying or you're selling they're literally everything so I feel comfortable pointing you guys in their direction so that it can help you actually save like up to honestly save up to like 60% on Disney deluxe rooms like that is mind-blowing and uh, yeah so thank you to the world of DVC all the links in the description you guys check them out don't forget about the promo code that's only a limited time just for the week and uh, I hope you guys rent out a point I hope you guys rent out some points learn uh, to get to stay in some other rooms you know, the, the fancy rooms and i hope you guys enjoy the video i enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye i'm gonna hop in bed now go to bed oh i forgot i'm still wearing my wet clothes <laughs>